Well, happy Monday, Happy y'all. Monday to you. Waco, Waco, Texas. Wrapping up our weekend here. Yep, yep. It was a nice, it was a short weekend. Yep. But it was nice. Delivered in Texas, not up by Dallas, Saturday morning. Yep. Headed straight down to Waco. Got a few things done we needed to do and came out. We got a spot out here at the lake, which y'all know we love the lake out we, here. We love lake. Any any lake, anywhere. I just <laughs> any love campground. It. Any campground. <laughs> yeah, no truck stop. No. Yeah, I love plugging up to the shore power versus running the generator. It just, I don't even mind. And we didn't, well, yesterday was pretty hot. It was. It got 90 degrees in Texas yeah. yesterday. But for the most part, you know, um, you don't run the generator as much because we could have shut it off at night. But I just love being plugged up to shore power and getting that electricity and charging the batteries and using the AC if we want to or anything yeah. else. And yeah. sounds like we got a plane coming I know. in. We, we may have to take a pause. Yeah, this uh, campground, oh, it's going in over there. This campground is right by the airport here in Waco. Yeah. And all of them have been flying like right over our campsite to, to land and take off. And yeah, there's like, like at certain points of the day, there's a bunch of planes. Like they'll be coming in every 10 minutes, five minutes. They're just flying right overhead too because it's just right there. Yeah, and all, ki all sizes of the planes. <laughs> there's prop planes, there's jets that come in, jets. There's bigger yeah. commercial airlines that come in. Yeah, not, yeah. not the huge planes because usually out of here they take like the puddle jumper planes to Dallas and then on or Houston. Houston and, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't pull the Airstream out because we knew we were only going to be here a couple of days. Yeah. So no sense getting that all well, pulled out. Well, because we kind of got it winterized right now. Yes. The last time we uh, dropped it off or parked it in the storage, we winterized it just mm -hmm. so it, to be ready for Texas winters, we do get some freezing time sometimes. So mm -hmm. we just wanted to make sure I was protected. So we didn't want to pull it out and then we winterize it again. <laughs> and yeah, just. Oh, here comes the plane. Y'all can probably hear that on the mics. But it's not hard to winterize it, but yeah, it's just, I mean, we're only going to be here a couple of days, so we knew that. Because yeah, we do yeah. have two loads lined up for the We do, already. we do. Woke up, uh, what, about 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, got a got, phone call. Got a phone call, made another call, and we are lined up for the week, so. Yeah, absolutely. And so we don't have to check out of here until 2, but we're starting to wrap everything up. Get, yeah, yeah. Get everything ready to go, because we do have to deadhead for the first one about 200 miles which we'll tell you all about in tomorrow's clip once we get it picked up. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a good week. Decent week. Yeah. It's not like great week banger. Oh, wow, we made so much money this week. But it's good. It's good. We're happy with yeah. it. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, so, oh. <laughs> oh, here comes one really close. Y'all yeah, probably can't yeah, see it. You're going to hear this going. one. <laughs> I think um, it, I think he made a big loop around oh. and was descending as he was making his loop to come in lower. Yeah. Yeah, because they come real low right oh, they here. they do. They're like right above us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe yeah. five, six hundred feet above head. <laughs> you hear Abby back there? Look at her in the window. Oh, no. She's probably blocked by the mirror. Oh, yeah. You probably she's like, come on. Let's go. We're ready yeah, to hit the road. We're ready to hit the road. <laughs> we're ready to hit the road. And yeah. Oh, we got to go see Mama Crafty. Her birthday is this Thursday. Yes, so it is. We uh, got to go visit with her, give her her birthday card and yeah. present while yeah. we were here. So that was nice because usually yeah. I always just have to mail it from the road. and Sometimes it's late. Sometimes yeah. it never gets there at all. Oh, it's like <laughs> depending where we mail it from yeah yeah it was nice to be able to do that and visit with her while we were home and yeah, yeah so. we're ready to hit the road again yeah maybe we'll find a rv park uh, where we deliver some week uh, weekend this maybe. coming week Maybe. I don't know. I got our clothes laundry done. I didn't do the rugs and bedding, which those need done, but we'll do that sometime, maybe this week or next week. We'll we, see. We did pull the super duty out though. Oh yeah, we had that to drive around this weekend, which is nice. Yeah, we yeah, we I love driving my super duty. <laughs> he does. All right, All right well, let's, let's wrap go. this up. Let's get on the road and we'll talk to you guys later. Go. Peace.
Taco Tuesday from <laughs> Texas. No tacos for us. No tacos for us. <laughs> but we did have Cracker Barrel for lunch. We did. Kept it low carb. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so we are picked up. We got a load, yes. we are picked up, we, we picked up in Houston. And we are going to Arkansas, so not a long run, no. about 560 loaded miles, one piece at a whopping 100 pounds. Um, the only reason we really did this load was because uh, one of our agents that we work with a lot has a load up that way that we wanted to get closer to. So Yeah, so this worked out. Yeah, this gets us otherwise it would have been like 950 miles to get to it yeah this one puts us 350 miles yeah so. yeah yeah so we'll still have to deadhead for it but not as much as we not would as have much. from no from texas sometimes we do that you know if there's that's that's what you gotta do sometimes to get your lows lined up yeah sometimes 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 it works out that good <laughs> yeah it don't uh, always work out that we good. we almost thought we weren't going to be able to pick it up because they didn't have it ready they couldn't find the key to get into where the freight was and it was like a big debacle but they yeah. figured it out yeah. we got loaded and yeah now, we're, now we just gotta hope the drop off gets us unloaded <laughs> i know right I, I called and left a message with our point of contact there just to let them know to make sure they knew we were going to be there tomorrow morning yeah, so yeah. Um, should be good, but yeah, we are, we're not far from Livingston, Texas on the 59 we'll, right now. We will be taking the 59, which is a back highway out of Houston that takes you up towards, uh, Texarkana, mm -hmm. which is right at the border of Arkansas and Texas. And then yeah. we'll go up the 30 that way. I forget what, part, like where exactly. I think it's like just a little uh, bit north yeah, of Little Rock. Yeah, I was going to look. I don't have, I have the, where I'm fueling at. Yeah, <laughs> and there we're yeah. going to fill at, or it, I'll be fueling at T.A. Prescott in Arkansas. Yeah, just a little bit north of uh, Little Rock. but Yeah, man, it's hot in Texas today. Woo. In the 80s, high 80s. Close to 90s. It's yeah. probably close to 90 by now. Yeah. But. yeah. Somebody was saying that uh, it was snowing up in North Dakota. <laughs> a week after we left out of there. Yeah. That's our luck. We, uh, yay. Good luck. Yeah. I'm glad. I don't want to be in the snow. Yeah, I don't either. Well, you, you'll find out when our first spotting of snow is. I'm sure we'll let oh, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, there's a, been a couple of drivers already that have gotten into snow. So. I know. Well, gosh, it's like it snowed in Yellowstone when we left. That was over we a left. month ago. It was. Had, yeah. They had some snow up yeah. that way yeah. and in yeah. Wyoming, and yeah. but man, yeah, so yeah, cool. Got this load, got nice our next load, load lined was, up. And... It was one piece, a hundred pounds. Yeah, it was a big old box, like a pallet sized box, but it just only weighed a hundred pounds. Yeah, and they it's funny because the agent, when we were talking to her this morning. Um, she was like, oh, they're requesting lift gate service. And we're like, okay, pounds. yeah. I'm like, it's a hundred pounds. We can pick it up yeah. <laughs> even if we didn't have a lift gate. Yeah, even if we did. <laughs> but it was so big and bulky that yeah. it would have been a pain just to yeah. lift it. So we just used the lift gate. Yeah, it was but easy. We basically just, they pallet jacked it to the lift gate. It kind of sucked though, because it was a free service. I know. They didn't charge extra for it. It's not like it. I mean, look, they pallet jacked it to the lift gate. Jason raised the lift gate and I, I slid care. the box on. Huh? I want my extra $25. You, <laughs> I slid the box on and got it strapped up. It was. I, I it want was, my $25. I want my $25. <laughs> sometimes it's more than that that they charge for you, the lift gate. Yeah, sometimes it's more. Some, it depends on who the customer is. Yeah. But usually that's a service that we're supposed to yeah. charge for. Yeah, absolutely. But a lot of these agents don't want to charge their customers that and mm -hmm. some other agents do and yeah i prefer to work with the agents who do because <laughs> we paid for this extra oh equipment. yeah i mean it didn't it wasn't it that wasn't extra, included in the truck we had right, to pay extra that, for that, that i mean it's extra added cost yeah so we got to use it we'd like to recruit recoup that cost right, you know right. that's just a cost you, of doing business you, if you add extra services there's usually charges for those yeah, services yeah, yeah. So. It's just like UPS or FedEx or if you ship a package, if you want it there faster or mm -hmm. weekend delivery or, you know, all that extra stuff is extra charges. So I don't know why people think because we're in trucking. That <laughs> well, I mean, that's expedite in general. I mean, it any is. special service, that's expedite trucking. is special service anyway, you know, like well, all even with trucking. If, 18 wheelers with lift gates they charge oh, yeah. too so oh yeah yeah oh gosh some 18 wheelers they gotta pay for lumpers to unload their trucks oh, like gosh. like they'll deliver to a place yeah. and they have to pay that place's lumpers which are people that come and unload unload your truck yeah to unload their truck yeah like they can't unload it themselves they have to pay for these people to come unload the which are called that lumpers that is the biggest ripoff scam i've ever known 
I know. The biggest ripoff scam that I have ever known in trucking. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of them. I'm sure you guys will uh, uh, educate us on some other ones, but that is a ripoff yeah, scam. Yeah, that's crazy. We <laughs> the only we did one load. We were still with Panther, but we had did a load and um, they actually hired like some people from like one of those work, uh, my, my microphone missed it. Yeah. One of those, what is it like workforce or, you know, where you can hire day laborers Yeah. and they hired like three or four guys to come to load our trucks. Well, there was two load. of us. They helped us. They helped us load the trucks. Yeah. yeah and well, we didn't have to pay for that. Panther had Pan it worked out yeah, with the yeah, customer, yeah, yeah. but it was crazy too because we actually ended up doing more than they did. We did <laughs> getting it loaded because they were like lollygagging around, and it's well, like we it's, just wanted to get really loaded. They really didn't know what to do. And, that, yeah, and it that was really too. easy though. It was like yeah. bring the boxes from this storage room up the elevator onto the road, put them on pallets, <laughs> then we load the pallets in the truck. Yeah, that simple. Yeah, but these they're they were kids. And, yeah, it was. Oh, and I, so you got hourly guys and then you got contractors who want to get the job done as <laughs> fast just, as yeah we, we want to get in and out we're, we're like, like let's come on go. let's get the job done i'm like come on come on come on i kept w cracking the whip on them yeah and we even ended up have, helping the other the other truck yeah because there was us too. and another truck they were loaded. pissed off because we were smart and we knew the load and we we're upcharged it. And, we upcharged yep. it like drastically so yeah. we knew we were getting paid good money but yeah. they they didn't know that, so they were pissed. Yeah, they got grumpy. suckered into it because, you know, sometimes they don't tell you all the details. They don't and give you, you all do the it details. one time and you know yeah, the yeah. next time, yeah. <laughs> which is, when I think, what happened with us. Just trying to get you to get that load. They don't tell you all the details when they're trying to get you to cover it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Well, all right. let's get out and knock out these miles. We'll be there. Gosh, I don't even, we're not even that far. Tomorrow. Like, we're probably like 500 morning. miles now. Yeah, so, well, yeah. Get it, get it knocked out, and we'll talk to you tomorrow after we get delivered. Cool. did well we got delivered this morning and that took golly they were so unorganized there but yeah they some absolutely. places are just like no that what they were doing <laughs> we sat there till like 9 30 waiting for somebody to show up yeah and yeah i don't know what they were. <laughs> but we got offloaded when you're the customer and you're paying i guess you kind of get to do that I... kind of sucks though like the agents won't push more for detention pay like when when stuff like that happens you know mm, it's certain I, I <laughs> certain think it, agents yeah certain will. certain agents certain customers they yeah. have it yeah. just all depends yeah, yeah but. but we did get delivered and i think we told you we have another load lined up which we pick up tomorrow so you'll find out all about that we did have to deadhead about 380 miles which um yeah after we got delivered we basically jason got us a little ways and i took over and got us the rest of the way yeah so he could get some rest yeah had to do the normal stuff today dump the pot fill the water oh, yeah. um stock up on a few items at the grocery store yeah toilet paper things like that yeah the necessities but the necessities <laughs> yeah that's sometimes that's the hard part is finding time to get those things done mm -hmm. you know uh trying to squeeze into a grocery store trying to find one we could stop at that has a big enough parking lot and a lot of these whole foods they have uh small parking they lots do. we have i think we might have it's been a while probably since we've talked about this but we do sometimes if we look on google satellite and it looks like a small parking lot yeah we'll call and ask if we can park in their dock yeah to come in and shop and yeah. then depending if they're getting a truck or not we've had them let us park at their do at their docks and, and normally if it's during the weekday and in the morning no they're getting deliveries yeah. and they're, you're not going to be able to park there but <clears throat> if it's weekend or evening time most of the time they're pretty cool with that yeah yeah just 
call them up, talk to the manager, and yeah. like, we let them know, you know, we're truck drivers, we need to come get groceries, we'd like to park in the dock if we can. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, usually they're pretty pretty nice about it. We don't have to do that that often, but it is an option. I woke Jason up cooking dinner. Oh. <laughs> I made taco salads. Oh, no yeah. shells. Super but... easy meal to make. Oh, and... gosh, oh, it's yeah. so good. It's basically so just good. put all the, do a taco salad, just no shell. You put it in a bowl. And... Yeah. yeah. She makes good. the best taco salads. I always tell, tell everybody that. I, I love them. <laughs> He's biased. I am biased. I, I have to admit, it, well, when when somebody's cooking for you, you don't complain about the food. That's right. right. You don't complain <laughs> about what they're cooking. You eat what you get. No. <laughs> right. Romaine lettuce, you know, we use a, a seasoning from Whole Foods, a taco seasoning that we really like. Yeah. We've been together <coughs> long enough. I think I know what he likes to eat. So <laughs> I don't, I don't rarely ever cook anything we both don't like. Yeah. And so what we eat today, you, you've been, uh, we've been on these oh, cauliflower. Oh, yeah. Do we have They're those? cauliflower thins. Yeah. yeah let, me, let me show you. I may have shown them on Instagram. Have you? Before, but yeah, I know not everybody follows us on Instagram or has Instagram. Yeah. So. But yeah, I get so, these at uh, Natural Grocers. Let me see if that kind of shows up. Yeah. Hopefully it'll focus. But yeah, they're just, it's basically cauliflower sandwich thins. It's all cauliflower. There's, what is there? There's a, uh, one net carb per thin. So this is what they look like. And what I do is I'll take them and I toast them in the toaster yeah. and I make us little sandwiches with them. Little sandwiches. And yeah. That's either breakfast or lunch. And mm -hmm. we've been doing a lot of these. Yeah. Cause for, I love this. Yeah. These, these are really good. And, um, uh, and then of course stuff like taco salad at dinner time. So yeah, because <laughs> we yeah. were getting, no, you ain't getting none. We You're were getting none. You want them? <laughs> oh, oh, what's up, Daddy? We were getting the keto bread and the low like carb it, tortillas, which yeah, yeah they're really that, not. At Costco, uh, we've I've kind of noticed that they have a lot of stuff that they're putting the word keto on. Yeah, you really got to look at the ingredients. You have to look at the ingredients because they put like keto friendly. But it's not really keto. Yeah. Because like uh, there's a there was a bread, a keto bread that we were getting, and but it still had weed in it and grain. Wheat. Or, wheat. Wheat. So like you said, that. weed. Weed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it had weed in it. <laughs> I didn't know they sold that at the grocery store. <laughs> wheat. Yeah. So wheat. yeah, you got to watch that stuff at Costco and grocery stores because a lot of places are getting really gimmicky with that because keto is. I mean, it's blowing up. A lot of yeah. people are, and I don't even think we're doing it perfectly. I think we're not getting as much fat intake as we should. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, one thing I've been doing is I'll just eat a spoonful of coconut oil. Yeah. Yeah, because it's hardened in the the thing, but I'll mm. I'll take a spoonful of that just to help increase the fat intake to kind of help try to get my body fat adapted. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've gotten there yet, but yeah, yeah. I think because I've lost two pounds. Two more pounds. Yeah, I've yeah. lost two more pounds. I'm down to 298 now. Slow, slow, but I'm happy with yeah. it. Yeah, but like as long I, as it keeps going down, you I, know. I, the thing with the eating this way is you can't always go by the number on the scale. You may be losing more inches than pounds. Yeah. So what I've always found is I can feel it in my clothes. My clothes start feeling looser, which I can tell your I clothes are looking yeah, my looser. Are and a little looser. Yeah. And so I'm yeah. down 14 pounds total. Yeah. So Very I'm good. Very happy. As long as it you. keeps going slowly down, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Still drinking the bangs, the carbonated yeah. Yeah. stuff. But I am relaxing tonight. I'm doing a adult coloring book. I got a sugar school one. I've been, I used to love to do these all the time and I have a, gosh, how many years has it been since I've, I've been wanting to do it for a while. So I yeah. broke down, I got me some color pencils and some coloring books. <laughs> it's a good stress reliever. So I'm yeah, working on that tonight. Yeah, I've never gotten that. I love it. It's just one of those things. Doodling in between the lines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's And picking calming. different colors and. Yeah. It's very calming. Okay. It, it my my calming is working on something. <laughs> no, your calming is sleeping, yeah, yeah, <laughs> resting, relaxing. 
I said, we're going to end this yeah. here. This one's getting uh, kind of boring. We're rambling. <laughs> I, think, I think there was a comment in one of the last blogs is too much talking. It's like, oh my God, you can't win with everybody. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> it's like hey, either if, too much talking or not a, enough talking. Or If you're doing a YouTube channel, trust me, you are going to have people who say they like this and then other people who say like that. Yeah. And you just can't please everybody. No, our main thing is... We just do what we enjoy, what well, we, we want to share. If yeah. people don't like it, they don't like it. If don't people watch. like it, they like it. If you I, know. If I watch something on YouTube and I don't like it, I don't go tell the person I don't like that. You should do this. <laughs> well, you, we you can't tell somebody a creator to do it the way you want it. If you want it done that way, do, make your own video. Well, there's a difference between constructive <laughs> criticism yeah, and, and just, just being, being a, a jerk. Guy. You know, we. I bet not to harp on that. We're not leaving this yeah. video on yeah. a note like that. Yeah, let's not. Anyway, anywho, <laughs> let's let's leave it on a note of pretty. Oh gosh, Frank is away. <laughs> nice, cute chihuahua. Oh, no. oh. baby. Oh. Yeah, you guys ready to relax for the rest of the night? Yes. All right. Well, stay tuned, guys. See where our next load takes us. Thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Jealous. Oh, jealous. Oh, she's going to get jealous. Gotta Where's get my there. attention? Where's, Where's my, my attention, mama? Where's my attention? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>